Yeah, yeah, you already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Guys, let's talk about Hyper App. I'm super excited about this framework. It's one kilobyte. It's a JavaScript library just for building front end applications. Guys, come on, man. Listen, there's a reason why I haven't been jumping on the Vue.js bandwagon. Because I know there's going to be something better out there. I'd rather look at something that's original and something that's brand new. And it's like God came in and, you know, he just said, hey, here you go, Joe. Here's the latest thing. This is the thing that's popping up everywhere, in every blog, and every single page out there. Let's give you this new topic, Hyper App. <laughs> Guys, I'm, I'm sorry if I sound like a douchebag. But, um, yeah, there's a new framework. It's pretty dope. Pretty much right now, it has 5,000 stars on GitHub. It's getting, you know, it's getting very popular nowadays. Like a lot of, you know, front end blogs and uh, JavaScript blogs, SitePoint. Uh, There's a whole bunch, you know, of websites who are talking about this. Right now, Reddit, like it, it's all over, guys. Right? Now, What's cool about this is, like I said, it's one kilobyte. One kilobyte, and that's it. That's your framework. I forgot uh, how many kilo kilobytes is JavaScript, like for React. Let's see. Uh, JavaScript, React, View, Angular, KB. I just want to, you know, be clear, you know, be clear with things. So I want to look it up before, you know, I talk about it. So pretty much this are the numbers, right? So you have Vue.js 58, Reacts 133K, uh, Preact 16K, which is really good. You know, they're all doing good, you know, they're all doing pretty good. But when it comes to hyper app, like literally one kilobyte, guys. Like this whole library, this whole framework is like super fast. And I want to show you this, right? I'm just gonna refresh this page, and you're gonna see this load up on the screen almost instantly. Right now, it looked a little bit slow, but it wasn't because of the app itself. It was Copen. It has to load up, do everything I gotta do, render. Then shows up, but if we was to do this with a React page, it'll, it'll take a little longer than that, guys. Trust me. Um, but yeah, man, like this is pretty cool. I don't know about you guys. I'm excited. I'm excited to see something new. So this is based on Elm. I don't know if you guys have heard of Elm. Elm Lang. It's another language that you know or compiles or transpiles to JavaScript and but it's a whole different language. It's like completely different than what you expect, right? So it's like importing HTML. So it's what it does is HTML, JavaScript, and CSS all together in just one language, and then it compiles it and gives you this. Now, is it great? I don't know. I've messed around with it, but to me, it seems too difficult in the sense of like to just put a little thing like a button. You gotta create. Like all of these lines, like what? Like, I don't know. To me, it just seems too much work for no fucking reason. But I like the idea of a, of, you know, functional programming and, and everything that it has. I like the idea of it. I'm not a big fan yet. I haven't really played around with it for a long time. But going back to Hyper App, I think it, it's great, guys. I think it's really great because, you know, people are going to jump on this, man. People love saying, hey, I'm on the fastest framework. I'm on the fastest library. And the fact that you could do JSX2 on it, I think it's great, guys. Like, I will say, check it out. Take a little time. Play around with it. It's super easy. You can read the docs. It tells you everything, what you got to do. It is very similar to Vue and, well, it's not even Vue. We'll say Backbone. Right, because 
Backbone is the first one doing this shit. Um, it's very similar to Backbone. So in this sense, in the way how it's, it's set up, but it's pretty cool, man. I think like in a few lines, you could get something very productive. You know, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm planning on doing a couple of components. This is just my first look at it. And my first, you know, my first little quick review for you guys. Just to get you guys excited about it. But yeah, man, check it out. Hyper app, man. Trust me, guys. This is one of those things that, like, once it hits the ground, man, and, like, everybody knows about this shit, I'm telling you guys, this shit just came out and already got 5,000, you know, fucking 5,000 stars on, on GitHub, right? It's like, it's getting everywhere. Every fucking blog is talking about it. Every, you know, I haven't seen it on YouTube yet. I wonder who who's actually out here talking about it, right? Let me check. Let me check. Let me not talk shit, you know, before <laughs> before I get hyped and be like, yo, I'm the first one, you know. So I guess Andy Johnson, which I don't know who the hell is Andy Johnson, <laughs> but Andy Johnson was the first one to talk about hyper app. So that's cool, man. All right, guys. So anyways. I'm gonna see you guys later. Um, stay up, man. I'm making a couple of videos, and like I said, I'm working on this uh, Pokemon tutorial, this course that we're building right now. If you're a member of my website, codingface.com, make sure you go check out the Future Proof JavaScript course because you're gonna learn so much, guys. Trust me. I'll see you guys later. All right. Hey, man. You thought it was over? Nah, dogs. Listen, it's a whole new world right here, man. When you click show more, you're going to see everything. All right. You got 50% off to my website, codingphase.com, automatically because it came from YouTube. That's the coupon code, kids. All right. And then from there, you got um, our sponsor links, of course. But it's crazy because I'm sponsored by them now, udemy.com. But it's crazy because they taught me how to become a developer when I was doing this by myself and I'm proud to say that I'm proud to say hey I'm actually a developer who's successful and I'm doing my thing thanks to you to me okay guys check those links out best instructors in the world they're right there trust me guys believe in me all right and then from there you got the discord which is basically a chat room it's a, a way to communicate with each other like you know all my friends are in there you got your boy Matt you got your girl Barbara, you got a couple of people in there. You know, we got Cam, we got the whole squad is in there, guys. Listen, check it out, man. Put in some time. Just click on that link, show more, and you will see all the most valuable links. All right, guys. Fun doesn't stop here, man. The fun don't stop just on this video. There's a whole community to this. CodingPhase.com. I'll see you guys later. Bye.